Howdy kids, it's me, Bob Harris, Football Diehards. This is your week 12 injury update, review, preview, get you up to speed overview thing that we like to do, and uh, it's a big one. A lot of stuff to go through today, so as always, we'll do it chronologically so you uh, have an understanding of uh, where you, what kind of decisions you need with late game options and Monday night options and Sunday night options if you need them. So we'll start in the morning or the early afternoon kickoffs. Uh, Cincinnati, obviously, AJ Green and Gio Bernard out. Green has a hamstring injury. We don't know when he'll be back. Uh, it's not season ending. He won't need surgery. Bernard is done for the year. That's 43% of Cincinnati's offense is gone. Uh, someone's going to have to fill the void. Uh, Jeremy Hill's in line, first in line in the backfield, of course. Maybe Rex Burkhead gets some run uh, as the number two in a receiving threat. Tyler Boyd uh, and Brandon LaFell are going to be asked to step up at wide out. Maybe Tyler Eifert does a little more. On the other side of the ball there, Crockett Gilmore not expected to play again. Uh, Nick Boyle was uh, added the active roster, active roster off suspension, so maybe he'll contribute at some point down the stretch, but not a lot, not a lot of fantasy interest there. Buffalo Bills, a lot of fantasy interest there. Sammy Watkins added the active roster on Saturday, worked uh, all this week, his first week back from IR after the foot issue, had surgery to, re to clean that up. Uh, sounds like he'll play, sounds like it'll be a limited role. Percy Harvin is questionable with an illness, so we don't know where he stands. Um, it's kind of a tricky one. Don't wouldn't want to get too far in front of it, but Watkins can be a playmaker. Uh, might have a tough time with Jalen Ramsey though, who's been playing well for the Jaguars. So uh, Lashawn McCoy uh, expected to play despite this questionable designation. He had surgery a week ago on his thumb. Sounds like very minor. They're more worried about infection and keeping it clean. Uh, Mike Gillisley is out with a hamstring injury. He suffered in practice this week, so that adds to the entry. Uh, Robert Woods is out with a, with a knee injury, and Charles Clay looks as questionable. We'll expect him to play. Other side of the ball, TJ Yeldon uh, did not practice all week. He's listed as questionable. My guess is this is all Chris Ivory. I'm not sure that uh, Yeldon will be active. I wouldn't count on him for a full game. Um, <clears throat> beyond that, uh, Julius Thomas is, uh, has been ruled out, so that leaves them without their top two tight ends. Uh, you don't, don't want to mine too much deeper there either. Aurelius Ben also questionable with a concussion. Uh, for the New Orleans Saints, Mark Ingram uh, listed as questionable coming off the concussion. He's had a long time. It was the last Thursday. So um, not officially cleared because of the questionable designation, but expect him to be in time for the game. But you'll need to watch and make sure he is active. And I'll have that information in the uh, 90 minutes leading up to kickoff. Uh, also in that game, Tra Traveris Cadet is listed as questionable as well. And Daniel Ratlasco. Um, they haven't been contributing much. For the Chicago, oh, on the other side of the ball, Todd Gurley had, a, had an illness. The Rams are, have a lot of illness going around. Uh, Todd Gurley caught it in Friday's practice, but he wasn't listed as questionable on the injury report. He just showed up as with an illness, no designation, so I expect him to go as usual. Um, for the uh, Bears, Jay Cutler, day-to-day, -day, except that won't be this week. He's not playing this week. John Fox continues to call him day-to-day. -day. People are saying it's a season-ending injury. Matt Barkley will take over. In his absence, uh, beyond that, Eddie Royal listed as questionable. Uh, did not practice all week. He's been playing through his toe injury all along. With Zach Miller already out, um, you know, and Alshon Jeffrey on suspension, they need all the bodies they can get. Um, don't count on, you know, don't go too much deeper on the tight end situation. Keep an eye on Royal if he plays. Keep an eye on Cameron Meredith uh, and Jordan Howard and the running backs as receivers as well. Marquise Wilson as well. He's not on the injury report this week. <clears throat> For the Miami Dolphins, going against San Francisco at home, Jarvis Landry, Kenny Stills, Kenyon Drake are listed as questionable. All of them are expected to play. The offensive line, there will be no Mike Pouncey again. There will be no Brandon Albert again. Sounds like Laramie Tunsil could play. Um, not a lock, though, so watch that for JHI. Great matchup either way, though, so uh, that's of interest. Uh, on the other side of the ball, Torrey Smith is listed as questionable. Missed his first game as a pro last week. Uh, sounds like he's getting closer. Worked on a limited basis all this week, but you'll need to watch that one in, in advance of kickoff. The Cleveland Browns will be without Cody Kessler. Of course, uh, uh, Josh McCown gets the start there. Uh, Robert Griffin III is practicing this week. <clears throat> he has a three-week window to get back, maybe after their Week 13 bye. We'll see. Uh, don't bet on anything there. The other side of the ball for the Giants, uh, Roger Lewis, the receiver, is listed as questionable with a concussion. It's kind of fallen out of favor. I uh, got an opportunity to do more and then kind of blew it. And, uh, missed some assignments, etc. So drop passes, etc. For the San Diego Chargers, Travis Benjamin worked fully all week, but he's listed as questionable. They're coming off the bye. A bit of a surprise that he's questionable, but expect him to play. Asante Cleveland, the tight end, has been ruled out there. Uh, could be a good day for Melvin Gordon. It's a good matchup. Um, on the other side of the ball, Alfred Blue has been ruled out. Jalen Strong has been ruled out. Lamar Miller's off the injury report. Uh, C.J. Fedorowicz is off the injury report. Ryan Griffin's off the injury report. Everyone's gotten healthy. Will Fuller off the injury report, so all good to go there. 
Uh, for Arizona, it, at Atlanta, Michael Floyd is questionable for this one. So it uh, sounds like a true game time decision. Uh, this is probably going to remain the David Johnson show. It's a great matchup if the Cardinals could get their passing attack on track. Larry Fitzgerald still a viable play there, but Carson Palmer's kind of been a disappointment, no doubt about that. On the other side of the ball, by the way, Tevin Coleman is back and at full speed, not on the injury report, so we're good to go there. Uh, for the Tennessee Titans, Phil Supernaw, the tight end, uh, is has been ruled out. Everyone else is good to go, including DeMarco Murray off the injury report as well. The late afternoon games, a little trickery here uh, for the Patriots is the big story, right? Tom Brady is questionable with his knee injury. Julian Edelman questionable with his foot ongoing. Chris Hogan questionable with the back injury that sidelined him some. Martellus Bennett, questionable with the ankle injuries and also a shoulder injury now. <clears throat> Rob Gronkowski, the chest injury, perhaps the perforated lung. Uh, all questionable. Uh, sounds like Gronk is a true game, game time decision. Reports earlier this week suggested he would. they were preparing to go without him or play without him. Um, we don't know that that's the case. He practiced on a limited basis. According to the latest reporting, he made great progress in the last couple of days. So uh, true game time decision for him. Expect the other guys to play, including Brady. Uh, but again, it's a late afternoon kickoff. Have fallbacks in place in case something happens. Uh, unless you're very trusting. We know Edelman and Bennett have been playing through their respective injuries for quite some time. So they seem really reasonable. I'm, I'd be very surprised if Brady doesn't play. Gronk truly up in the air. So watch that one. For the, uh, for the Oakland Raiders, Latavius Murray and Michael Crabtree both have ankle issues. They both worked on a limited basis in practice all week. Both are expected to play. Good matchup for that passing attack uh, against the uh, weak Carolina secondary. So uh, you'll need to watch that one. Again, have fallback plans in place. Jaquiz Rogers expected to return. Listed as questionable. Don't know what kind of role he'll play. I mean, eventually a change of pace. Maybe this first week back, you shouldn't expect too much. Maybe the Doug Martin show. It gets a tough Seattle uh, defense, by the way. Mike Evans will be going up against with Richard Sherman. That should be interesting as well. Sunday night, Jeremy Macklin's been ruled out. Sharkandrick West is fine. Uh, Spencer Ware will lead the rushing attack against the Denver defense. It's been pretty generous to running backs, so maybe that's the approach to the Chiefs haven't been passing well. Monday night game, uh, Ryan Matthews has been ruled out. Uh, his, so, and this injury could linger, according to Doug Peterson, on Saturday. So watch that. Darren Sproles good to go, but Wendell Small was a guy to watch in this one. Uh, it's not a horrible matchup going against Green Bay. Uh, I mean, they're tough against the run, but uh, they've been, you know, small little factor in the passing game, as well as Sproles. Nelson Aguilar's status remains up in the air. Uh, he's been playing horribly, seeing a sports psychologist, and uh, they haven't decided yet if he'll play. But watch guys like Doriel Green Beckham and Paul Turner and Bryce Treggs maybe get, a, get, a, get additional opportunities. So there you have it. As always, uh, keep an eye on the website. Sunday I'll be updating throughout the morning, get you all the inactives, uh, and go check out all the columns. A lot of interesting info on the site right now. Uh, DFS lineup wise and regular lineup wise. So check it out and thanks a lot for listening. We'll catch you next week and good luck.